Let's install Forge UI on Windows and run some text to image models like Stable Diffusion and Flux. Search for Forge UI, you should find the GitHub link. Scroll down to the installation section. A simple one click installation is available. Below are some installable with packages of different versions. To avoid experiment and having errors, I will suggest downloading the file on the top. This compressed file has the stable packages and with other utilities in it. Once downloaded, extract the compressed file. The file is around 6 GB, it may take some time. Once done, you can delete the downloaded file to save some space. After extraction, the new folder contains these files, which also includes an update file. I will have things updated first. You may see such message, you can ignore this if it is Forge UI, and run the application. After updating, it says press any key. Now, we can run the program by this run file. This message should not appear the second time when we run the application. Running for the first time includes some installation. So, it took around 3 minutes on my computer. If you are new, or you have been using Focus for image generation, you may feel this interface a bit complicated. I will be explaining this in the future videos, making it easier to understand. This was an installation video, let's run and check if it is working. First, I will try the Stable Diffusion 1.5 and this Hyper model to check how fast I can get the result. The model files are to be kept in the Web UI Forge folder, then Web UI, further inside Models, and then Stable Diffusion. For comparison, I have downloaded both the realistic vision models. One is trained on Hyper SD 1.5, which should be faster. In Forge UI, go to the checkpoint dropdown and select the model. I will give a simple prompt, a toy car, and click Generate. As said, this will be fast, and I got the image. The system hardware usage was low, and I like the car. The image is not sharp because my prompt did not include a sharp image, or blur image as a negative prompt. However, we are generating images using Forge UI and Stable Diffusion, which means the application is working on the computer properly. Let's try the other model trained on Stable Diffusion 1.5. The model was downloaded from Civit AI. It takes some time to load the model if it has changed. The image generation was quick once the model was loaded. It is close to the hyper model I used earlier. It is giving results within 10 seconds on the 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes car. Next I will try the Excel model. The download is in progress and the file goes in the same folder named Stable Diffusion. To run, change the UI from SD to Excel, and then select the checkpoint. Let's use the same prompt and see the result. It took 20 seconds and this is the result. The color is extremely bright. Let me generate another one. This time I got the result in 11 seconds. Forge UI is fast and the toy car looks good. For the Flux model, I searched for Flux 1 Dev, BNB and FEFA 4. You can download the model by clicking this download text. Once downloaded, keep the Flux model inside the Stable Diffusion folder. In the Forge UI, select Flux. Next, select the model from the checkpoint dropdown. You will see the negative prompt text box has been disabled when selecting Flux UI. I wonder what would be generated without any prompt. It took around a minute to generate the first image. And the image looks clear without any prompt. Let's try the prompt, 
a toy car, and see the result in comparison to the XL models. It takes around 50 seconds to generate an image. And the result has a significant difference if compared with stable diffusion results. 50 seconds for a BNB model on a 4060 Ti 16 gigabytes card. This was generated in 45 seconds. I should be trying the Schnell version. What do you think? What flux model are you using? Do you want a video on Forge UI explaining other options? Let me know in the comments.